Hi guys, it's Marie and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be cooking chop suey. And here are my ingredients. I have here some broccoli, cabbage, red and green bell pepper, mushrooms, carrots, onions, garlic, and I'm also going to be using some sprouts. Next, I have here food club canola oil and Likam ki panda brand oyster sauce. For my protein, I will be using ground meat, ground pork to be exact, but you can use any type of protein that you want. Okay guys, now I've heated the pan with oil and I'm going to be adding first my ground meat and then I'm going to be adding my um, garlic and onion. I'm just going to try to flatten it so that I can separate it. This way the meat covers more of the surface area of the pan. Therefore, it will cook faster. Next, I'm just going to keep cooking it until all the meat has turned brown or cooked all the way through. Now that the meat is already cooked, I can proceed to add my next ingredient. So you can add whatever type or color of onions you have, but since I have the red onions, I think I'm going to use it not just for flavor but also for color. I opted to cook the meat first and add the red onion and the garlic at a later stage because I didn't want the onion and the garlic to be burned. As you know, the meat takes a longer time to cook. Stir the meat together with the onion and the garlic until the onions are cooked down and also the garlic is lightly cooked but not burned. For added flavor, I'm also going to be using Morton salt and black pepper. Here's the salt and black pepper. Keep mixing it. going to be adding the carrots because it's one of the tougher vegetables so it needs a little bit more time depending on the cut of the carrots will be the cooking time that you're gonna need but I try not to cut it too small that I don't want it to disappear in the recipe I don't want it to be too big that it takes a long time to cook next I'm gonna be adding the broccoli and the cabbage and then I'm going to just keep mixing it. I'm also going to be adding some water. Mix it again. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of the oyster sauce. I 
point, I'm going to be adding the next ingredients, which are the mushrooms, the red and green bell pepper. I chose to add them at this point because the other vegetables were a bit thicker and these ones are slightly thinner, so they cook very, very quickly. Keep stirring until the vegetables are all cooked. Now the vegetable is looking nice and colorful because of the addition of the red bell pepper and the green bell peppers and also the carrots. In case you don't want any of the other vegetables that I used, you can feel free to swap out any type of vegetable that you like. So I'm just gonna wait for a few minutes until it cooks down and then I'm gonna adjust the I flavor. also added the sprouts. So now I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna be using some cornstarch and a little bit of water where I'm gonna mix this cornstarch and a little bit of soy sauce. So I added one and a half teaspoon of cornstarch in two tablespoons of water. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. This will be the thickening agent for the sauce. And because of the soy sauce, a little bit of flavor as well. Now, it's already boiling. I will simmer it for a few more minutes as the, the what do you call, the broccoli is still a bit underdone. And I'm gonna hold on, pull the sauce to the side first and wait until the, the moment when I can add the, the sauce to the and vegetable. A little bit more of the oyster sauce. Now I'm going to mix it. And now I'm going to add my thickening solution. Simmer for a few minutes and then it's ready to go. It's been simmering for a few minutes and the sauce has already thickened. All the vegetables are already tender so it's ready to turn off. The heat's been turned off and now it's ready to serve. Please try cooking this recipe and let me know how it turns out. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on my next vlog. Stay safe and be healthy. Bye.